welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you some fun summer ready pieces that I recently got. I have clothes, shoes, makeup, so let's get right into it. I feel like self-portrait's been killing it recently. Like I love every single thing that they're putting out, especially their like top and bottom sets. So I went a little crazy, I got two. This one is a baby pink long sleeve cardigan with a skirt, literal princess vibes. Like I don't even know what to tell you. Look at these buttons, they're so gorgeous. The skirt looks like this with a waistband instead of a zipper and the same buttons. It's very flowy, but it is form fitting at the same time. I got both of them in size small because for this style, they only offer small, medium, and large. I'm a little worried though that it'll stretch out like here and there because like these buttons are heavy. And over time, if I wear too much, um, I'm scared that it won't like keep its form. But for now, it looks great, but I definitely gotta be careful with the sleeve. I think wearing it once even like made it a little dirty. But yeah, such a beautiful, beautiful piece. And then for more of a summer piece, I got this one as well. The skirt is underneath. The buttons are actually not white. These are all wrapped individually. Like how crazy is that? But I have not worn this yet. I did wear this already um, when I went to Napa. That's why you can see the buttons. But for this one, it's brand spanking new. So it's still like covered. Let's actually just open it up. <gasps> Looks so much better. These are the buttons, so, so pretty. I mean, I love self-portrait and their buttons. They always have the best buttons. And honestly, like they're pretty good quality. I mean, I really hope so considering the price. But this one, I couldn't pass up on it. They also have this in blue that I love. And they also have this in the dress form, which is also amazing but I can have it all, so I went with this one. I feel like this is more versatile because it comes with a skirt, so you don't necessarily have to wear this as a set, but I just think it looks best as a set. And this again, for the sizing, it came in small, medium, large. I've just been loving tweed pieces like these because they make me look very put together, very like elegant, but very girly at the same time. And because they're such like fun colors, they're not too serious. Next, I want to talk about this gorgeous silk bralette from Versace. It's, I know, it's very, very like on brand, but I just love it. They do silk bralettes like this in so many different designs, but this one really caught my eye. I've been eyeing on this for months and I finally got to wear it in Miami. I think that was like the most perfect setting to wear this and it does have a zipper on the side, so it comes off completely so you can just like put it on. It's a little bit difficult at first, but it's very easy to like get in and out of and also the lace strap, so, so pretty and it matches the lace at the bottom. I did notice, however, that the lace on the bottom keeps writing up. So you gotta like fix yourself before taking a picture. But overall, such a beautiful but like delicate piece. I really, really love this, but it is very cropped. So you gotta wear this when you're not eating too much, honestly. <laughs> oh, and then for sizing, I believe this is Italian sizing. So I got 38, which is like a US two. And the last clothing pieces I wanna talk about are also kind of like a set from 16 Arlington. It's actually this top that I'm wearing right now with this incredible skirt. I did an unboxing video of these two pieces in my early summer vlog, so you can check that out there. At first, I was only gonna get this skirt because this is like my ultimate python dream. I love light blue python, and this is like the most perfect blue. Like, they just killed it. This was like made for me, honestly. But then I saw that this top was also like a python design. It's very, very subtle because of these sequins, but it's python. It's incredible. But let's first talk about the skirt. I was a little bit worried because I didn't want it to be too low rise. Like I don't have the confidence for that. I was scared that it'd be too short. Like I'm not trying to flash anyone, but this is perfection. It's just short enough and it doesn't expose any parts that I don't want. It has a zipper on the side and there's a tiny bit of slit right here that only goes up this much. So when you kind of bend down, it, there's a little bit of like mobility and flexibility. So it's not like you, you don't have to like move all together. You know what I mean? Like you have some mobility for your legs, if that makes any sense. I also went with my true size, which is US 2. I think it was, let me check, UK 6. So US 2, I just follow the site. This top, I also went with my true size. 
but I have some comments. Let me check what that size was. Okay, so this one I got extra small, but I feel like I could have gone up a size because let me show you. This comes up so high up on my armpit that I'm like scared to sweat. <laughs> like I don't want to like ruin this clothes and it's really, really tight. Some other models I've seen it on like other sites there was a little bit of room this one is like a straight up like tank top there's no extra room whatsoever so if you want kind of like a looser fit i would go up a size but i do like that it's very form-fitting because i think it goes really well with the skirt not having like extra fabric on top kind of creates that seamless look in terms of the material it's like a knitted material very very thin it leaves a little bit of room at the bottom without any sequins so i think that makes it even more interesting the sequins kind of make it hard to see the actual python design but when you see the bottom part it like really makes sense because it's so thin i think it's perfect for the summertime like i don't have to worry about like sweating too much but at the same time like the arms come up way too high also i feel like i need to be careful with like jewelry not to like snag anything because it's really thin and in terms of shoes like this really is number one for me my new renee sandals these are completely flat i've already worn them a couple times um in miami so i probably shouldn't be holding them up like this because that's disgusting i mean i knew these were gonna be good but with like renee shoes every time you wear you just feel so amazing really make your outfits like twenty thousand times better i didn't want to go with heels because that really limits the amount of time I can actually wear them out. So I went with sandals, which I think was such a brilliant idea. Now I can be like fabulous and like casual at the same time. These look so amazing with such an extra outfit like this. Or you can wear it with like the most simple bodycon dress, no pattern, nothing, like even black. I love it with my Zara dress, the gray one. Oh, so good, so good. These are again so 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 comfy but the one with like a block heel i tried them on and i think they were a little bit more comfortable because with this one you technically don't have any support on the second half of your foot you're literally relying on this snake right here on your ankle so i do find myself having to like push upwards so that my foot is like not hanging but overall they're so 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 comfortable but i will say though you do have to get used to that feeling of this on your ankle it does leave a mark on your ankle no matter like what you do because i try sizing up but at the end of the day like this has to be on your ankle so at first you might not like that feeling but once you get over it you'll be fine when i first got these and tried them on i thought like they were way too tight like i thought they were gonna hurt and like give me blisters or like whatever but none of them happened thank goodness so really really want like 17 more pairs of these the last bits of fashion i want to share with you are sunglasses so i got two new sunglasses and the first one i've already mentioned before these are my new celine these are basically like the rectangle version of the round ones that's been like going around i cannot pull any like round sunglasses so i opted in for these it has the triumph logo and it's kind of like a tortoiseshell they call it like havana brown or something like that but i already have a black pair from tom ford that looks pretty much identical so i went with this these are so comfortable it doesn't hit my face in like the wrong areas even when i smile it doesn't like touch um, my cheeks here love 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 them my new favorite everyday sunglasses and every time i see them i always envision like this really effortless girl eating gelato in like europe <laughs> in like july wearing like the most simple outfit like hair in a bun flip-flops and slides like no bags nothing but she has this this really just adds a little bit of character like i don't know that's what i what i think of <laughs> and then my other pair is a little bit more dramatic okay now you can see my camera <laughs> These are the new um, mirror sunglasses from Saint Laurent. Don't these look clear to you? Like silver? When I was taking off the sticker, it said beige. Like beige. But I guess I kind of see it, but I don't know. I thought they were like silver. The lens itself is kind of small, but because of that outline, it like covers your face a little bit more and now it looks green what is happening these are again like really really fun but not as effortless as these i feel like these are a little bit more extra these are wide so it doesn't touch um my temples that's like one of my biggest pet peeves when it comes to sunglasses as long as sunglasses don't like touch my face we're good to go 
Now onto beauty. These are some of my ultimate favorite products as of late. Let's start with sunscreen. So I've been doing a lot of research on sunscreen. So I've made the transition to all like mineral sunscreens. I literally threw out all my like chemical ones. I think this brand is very reliable and very, very good. The Solara Sun Care. So I bought one for my face and my body. This for the face um, is called Fortune Teller. They're both SPF 30 and this one is Clean Freak for the body. I tested them out in Miami, which is like a true test and I love them both. This is more of a skincare. It has vitamin C, hyaluronic acid and adaptogens in it. And this one targets pigment, which is exactly what I need because when I tan, I think sometimes my spots get even darker. So I really wanna prevent that. And this has been amazing. The Miami sun is like crazy. You literally feel your skin sizzling within like 30 seconds and this one didn't give me any like spots knock on wood so i really really love this also i don't think none of them smell which is like phenomenal because i hate that like sunscreen smell yeah this one says unscented this one is more for the body but it's kind of like a moisturizer and sunscreen at the same time this one has antioxidants vitamins and omegas just in general i love them like please check them out and they're both less than 100 mil so i can definitely travel with these which i love and for the body i've been using body oils more than body lotions i feel like they're just a little bit more fun to put on and they hydrate your skin better and also they kind of give you that glow and i have been loving this tatcha hinoki body oil even though this is a humongous bottle like you can hear it it's like a glass bottle very very heavy but it only has 100 mil so i feel like I wish they could like size down on the packaging because it's very bulky, but I love the pump. It comes out amazing. It hydrates your skin. I honestly love this even more than the body oil from Asian Natura, sad to say, even though that one's like far more expensive. This one sinks into your skin unlike like Johnson's baby oil that tends to just sit on top of your skin. This really does hydrate your skin. And most of the time I don't really go ahead with another body lotion because this is enough. And especially in the summertime when it gets really too hot and it just get lazy, I think body oils are like the way to go. And then for makeup, I have been loving orange blushes. I have two that I wanna share with you, but this one is a really, 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 really old one from 3CE. Not sure if they still make it, maybe in a different packaging, but just so cute. And today I'm wearing the Dior blush in, what was the number? Coral. This one looks orange on the packaging, but when you actually open it, it looks more pink. It looks very like highlighty pink, but I promise you it's right in between orange and pink. So if you guys have like warmer tones, like skin undertones, like I do, I really suggest you to try orange blushes because I feel like they're just a little bit more flattering when you also like get a tan, just a little bit different from like your everyday, like average pink tone blushes. And I think they really complement your skin tone, especially the Dior one. I've been using this pretty much every time I wear makeup and you really need the tiniest amount because it's such a bright color. You can tell I barely made a scratch on the oblique pattern. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have this for a while. And I think they did release a couple more shades, which are all beautiful, but try this one out. And then my last product is like literally my ultimate favorite makeup product these days the Too Cool For School bronzer. I cannot believe that it took me this long to finally try this out. I picked this up in Korea, but you can definitely get this online as well. I'm starting to see the shape of the pan underneath, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna hit pan on it. I honestly love hitting pan on makeup products because it makes me feel like I'm doing great and now I can go buy more. <laughs> At first, I was only swirling my brush on these two, but nowadays I'm, I'm feeling lazy, so I just like swirl the whole thing it is the most like beautiful bronzer if you're into a matte shade. This is just cool enough where you can use it as a bronzer slash contour. I tend to kind of mix them up together. I don't use like two separate products to do that on my cheeks. So I love anything like this that's also matte and cool and warm at the same time. This reminds me a lot of the Hoola Benefit bronzer, but I think it's a little bit more cool. And even with a tan, it still looks good. It's just like a nice shadow that works as a bronze at the same time. Like this is truly like one of the best bronzers I've ever used. This is in the shade Classic. Please get this. 
So that was everything I wanted to share with you guys today. Some really fun pieces that I'll be wearing a ton in the summertime. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one.